Well, hello, Chris. How's it going? Hey, pretty good. How are you doing? Awesome. All right. So let's get into it. Who are you? Who is Chris Newton? Well, I'm a I'm a musician, I'm an educator, I'm a father here in Petaluma, California. Yeah. What does music do for your life? Well, it's honestly everything. Um, it's how I pay my bills. It's how I feed my son and I. It's how I put gas in the car. It's what keeps me happy. It's what keeps me sane. It's what a... It's my gift to my community to be able to play it and teach it. It, it, it is, it's my job, but it's not my job. It's my passion. It's, it's why I'm here. That's so great to hear. Um, so why don't you go ahead and explain a little bit what you're doing um, on your Facebook lives and um, helping the kids at your school? Sure. So. When I was told that we wouldn't be uh, returning to work for the rest of the school year, I got very worried. I, I could be a little more creative on how I want to structure my life now. And so I decided, th this, this thought just came to me that, hey, how about you donate to my Venmo <laughs> and tell me three things that you love and then I will write you your own personalized song with each of those three things being a verse. And this is your own song about you and what you love. That's beautiful. And yeah, and, and then that idea expanded into, because I, I didn't think it would get so, so much attention or, or so many people interested, but I, I, till this, at this point, I've completed five songs and recorded them and sent them to my donors. I am working on my sixth, and I've got a list of five other people who are interested in songs. And, and, and then my idea expanded beyond that, that I should put together an album and compile all these songs that I've written in this time during the pandemic Perfect. to really highlight the beauty and humanity and just um, show the positive side. Uh, the title was going to be What the World Loves. And so it's just, I'm naming all the songs after each of the donors. So the song is Judith. You know, she loves dancing. She loves her dogs. She loves Reiki. Or the song's Patty. She loves her husband, her children, and, and the, the, the natural world here in um, Sonoma County. So, so like, I'm I'm uh, just kind of painting a little bit of a picture into the lives of people in our community and telling you what they love and what really keeps people going. A few weeks ago, I had a, a video that went viral because my, my son and I were just deciding to go on a short little walk just to get out of the house mm -hmm. and to get some sun. And we just walked down, down our neighborhood along, you know, all of our neighbors' homes. And I just... I noticed something that was just incredibly rare. Every single neighbor for like 12 houses, they were all outside of their home at the same time, sitting in their yards or doing yard work or just taking in the day. And it, it was, it was beautiful to be honest. Of course, yeah. Because I, I just announced to everybody outside, I was like, hi neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're all hanging in there. I, I know this is a really hard and crazy time for a lot of us. And I told them I lost a lot of work for the last few months. I'm a performer and, and now I can't do that. And then it totally just hit me. I was like, how about I put on a performance on my lawn? I can crank it, I can really crank it up and you mm -hmm. guys can just stay on your lawns and listen. And everybody was just super excited. They're like, Sure, Chris. We're totally happy to support you. We are so bored. We are so <laughs> tired of doing the same things every day. What time are you going to do this? And I was like, how about 5.30? And like, that sounds great. You know, I, I did a few things the rest of that day. And then I was like, you know, going outside of neighbors' houses and just screaming to get their attention because <laughs> I didn't want to ring doorbells or not. 
or get too close and and I was just saying hey just so you know there, there's going to be a, a concert on my lawn if you want to you know pull up a lawn chair and, and and sit right on your yard and listen and one neighbor was like hey well there's going to be a thunderstorm so you might want to hurry up so I actually, <laughs> I actually started an extra 30 minutes early and I I played for like two and a half hours out in my yard wow songs just kept coming a lot of covers lots of stevie mm -hmm. or bill withers or sure. Beatles. and then um and, and it was just so beautiful that all my neighbors were there supporting me because these people have never seen me play live I, I play out all over the county and you know neighbors are we're all up to our own thing and i've never really shared with them that i'd be playing but but it was really a beautiful moment and i, I truly believe it all it just brought us all that much closer um together so uh it, it was a really wonderful experience and and one of my neighbors took a video and posted it on the sonoma county fire update page and then someone else took that video and shared it onto the petaluma families page and it, it just started getting all this attention i shared and, it by the way <laughs> yeah i had like i had like a like maybe close to 100 friends share it or 50 wow. friends and um and then it's been shared in like oregon and several other states and i think maybe a couple of countries too a couple of other countries wow i didn't know it's that I friends, crazy I, I have friends on my friends list from you know all over the world and um and then so cron 4 um it, it was it was shared with cron 4 and they featured it on their facebook page and i think it the story was covered on on the television um what? i didn't i didn't get to That's see awesome. it yeah and, okay. and uh, i got a call from the press democrat they they were running a story on what i was doing um talked about the lawn concerts they talked about my live uh, my facebook live videos <clears throat> and then they also talked about uh you know my songwriting and so that that whole um article got me like a few strangers that were quite interested um one 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 lady's a grandmother and she got to name her granddaughter um and she's got this strong bond with her her grandchild um the 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 grandchild was like totally obsessed with being a princess you know and and grandma really built up the idea of a senior prom like this is your night to be a princess and now here we are her high school senior year and she won't be able to have a oh, prom. oh wow so grandma told me about all that and and asked if I could write a song about that. And so that was quite an experience getting that out into my music. And, you know, I asked grandma to tell me three things that she loves about her, her granddaughter. And so I, I wrote a song that really has a special place in my heart, kind of, you know, taking a snapshot of this person's life and the love of the grandma. So um, that, that was a really cool opportunity. I, I'm, in the middle of writing one for this this gentleman his son has had to put off his wedding twice one because he <laughs> one because he was diagnosed with cancer oh wow and so he fought that he's cancer free they started making plans for the wedding the second time and it was supposed to be in june and now they've had to cancel again because of the pandemic so i've got my music set for that one but i still want three things that the son loves about his fiance um and that will be that will be showcased or played um at their wedding when they have the uh Aww. the final date set up you know <laughs> so that's that's been a little bit of what i've been up to and um did you want we have to know what are your top three favorite songs ever top three favorite songs See, I I'm bad at that question, and even though I, know I had you time, are. <laughs> even though I had time to to read that one and, and think about it, I'm that's that's really a rough one. Oh, could I say top three artists? Okay, sure, that works. Uh, Stevie Wonder. Okay, Kevin. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix. And. Let's see. I would probably say the Beatles. 
Okay, Chris, so how can we get a hold of you? How can we keep in touch? How can we learn more about you? Well, my Facebook profile is public, so I, I do lots of updates or, or live streams on, on that platform. I also have my bands page on Facebook, Mood Jungle. Mood Jungle, okay. Yeah, we haven't been announcing much on there because, you know, we can't meet the three of us. We're, we're a three-piece band. So do you have a YouTube? Yeah, thank you for asking. No. Um, yeah, my YouTube channel is just, if you just search Chris Newton Music, no spaces, it's just all together. That will allow you to see some performances or, or a performance with my band, you know, a big band arrangement that I wrote when I was in college or a or me playing a solo arrangement on guitar of Billie Jean. And, and I just started uploading videos of my classes for my oh, elementary great. So the, those are also available too. So if you got kids at home and you know you don't know how to teach them music or something, you just sit them in front of YouTube, let them watch my videos. It's, yeah. Right on. Well, thank you so much, Chris. Um, we had an amazing time and I hope that people reach out to you. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> All right.